What's going on everybody, it's your boy Redbeard here, and we are on the Ground Forces Beta for Fourth Thunder Ground Forces, and I cannot say how excited I was when I found this out, and I was actually behind the ball, not really paying attention to a lot of the forums, and actually when this was actually going to come out, because I remember about almost a month ago I put out a video when they first announced that Ground Forces Beta was moving to the main server, and I was so disappointed because it it was still that closed beta and so I just kind of gave up hope that it would be another six months before we actually got to play but out of nowhere out of left field Gaijin came out and was like oh here you go guys you know no more closed beta it's open beta and so as soon as I found that out which reason I haven't been really doing anything on my YouTube channel lately is because of a military exercise called Emerald Warrior which has taken up well, oh, man, at least the past three weeks of my life, probably both past month, and probably will go on a little bit longer. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description. It's actually a really cool military exercise between a lot of different nations, a lot of different branches of service. And if you guys are interested in that, then the link will be in the description. You can read all about it and why the past month of my life has been devoted to nothing but that, because it was just, it was a pain from my perspective. But moving on. These are my thoughts on the, the Ground Forces beta, and as m I actually like it quite a bit. It's it's very different. That's that's all I'm gonna say, and I'm not gonna try and compare it to like World of Tanks or anything because it's it's completely different. And the first thing I love is the graphics. I I love the detail, the graphics for the tanks, and the, the textures. The it's just amazing. It it, it really. <laughs> I, I've yet to see a tank game that actually has better graphics than Ground Forces for War Thunder. It is absolutely amazing. With that being said, the physics as of driving the tanks, yeah, that, that needs to be fixed. It's, it's still bad, and I remember seeing some people who were uploading the closed beta gameplay, and they were saying, you know, the physics for driving is a little bit different, and it is completely different, honestly. It just feels as soon as you get above 10 kilometers an hour, you're practically driving on ice, and <laughs> your tank loves to uh, drift, and you, it's pretty much like you're driving a sports car on ice. You're just constantly drifting corners. It, it's weird. I don't, I don't think tanks would normally do that. I've never personally driven an actual tank, but from the footage I've seen, yeah, that doesn't seem quite up to par. But you know that it's not that bad. At least the guns. The hit detection, everything like that is perfectly fine, and I, I'm enjoying it. The second thing I'm really kind of disappointed in, which is another, it's not that big of a deal, is the fact that you bounce off trees and they're like, they're essentially, I, I, I just don't understand how you can't knock trees over in this game. It's a little weird. I think a 22 ton steel machine going almost 20 miles an hour should easily be able to go through a palm tree, but, uh, yeah, not in this thing. You just it stops you cold in your tracks. So that that was those two things that were just kind of I don't know. It, was, it was wasn't really make me angry. It didn't really ruin any games for me. It, it just took some real getting used to. And you guys know I've seen on the channel. I've been playing a lot, a lot of World of Tanks. And so jumping straight from World of Tanks to War Thunder Ground Forces. Yeah, it, it is a complete 180, and it. But it's a good. It's a good thing. It's different, and I'm not gonna ever compare World World of Tanks to War Thunder Ground Force because they are two different animals, completely different animals. I mean, War Thunder always goes for the more realistic, and World of Tanks always goes for the more arcadey. And that's that's the one issue I do kind of see is bringing actual gameplay because as, as fun as Ground Forces really is, it's kind of I don't know, I want to say slow, but I I don't know, either the matches are over too too uh, quickly because everybody goes out into the calf circles and before you know it, in three minutes your match is over, or everybody just sits back and camps and it, it's just a slow plotting. But I mean, that that's real tank battles, honestly, and, and that's what they were going for. I don't know if it will make good YouTube content I, uh, as far as, you know, getting a gameplay, explaining it, or explaining the historical significance and, you know, trying to relate it to history. I don't know if it'll be entertaining. I'll try it if you guys would like. But just my two cents right now is, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be as exciting to watch as World of Tanks gameplay. And some people just don't like World of Tanks because it's too arcadey and they just don't like to watch it. But I feel like, you you know, when you can get six to ten kills in a World of Tanks game and 
it shows you how much damage you did and all that stuff while while you're doing it. You know, it, I, I find that's the reason it has a good YouTube uh, base for watching the videos because it's actually, you know, it's it's quick, it's exciting. You, you're never really camping too much. Where in this, you know, as you see me just putting shot after shot into tanks, trying to, and I'm you can't really see the damage I'm doing. But you know, it's, I'm not really getting a lot of kills, and it's not showing, you know. All, all, all the stuff that's going on around you, but it's okay. I, I like it. I like World, World of Tanks. And I like War Thunder Ground Forces. I, they're two different, completely different animals, but they both have their benefits and they both have their dis disadvantages as well. So moving on, the uh, yeah, I, right now I'm in the Stug with the 75, and you know, unlocking uh, Tier One tanks, it's, it's not hard. I, I kind of like it. It's it's not too much of a grind to get a decent machine, you know. This Doug here is not a bad machine at Tier 1. You you get thrown in some Tier 2 matches, which kind of sucks. You know, I, War Thunder as a whole still needs to patch its tiering system and, you know, your its matchmaker. Other than that, I mean, it's a really good machine. And I'm, I'm liking it, you know. It's it's Tier 1. You, I, <laughs> I wish there were some better tanks I could get into as soon sooner than later, but, you know, I, I like it quite a bit. You know, so far I haven't really run into any tank so far that seems to be overpowered or, you know, I haven't run into the KV-2 yet, so everybody says that running up against that thing can be difficult at times, but so far everything seems pretty balanced. I I like it, you know, can't wait for some extra countries to be thrown in eventually, but for a beta I'm actually very impressed and I like it quite a bit. The one other gripe I kind of have is the aiming system, the amount of keys I have to hit, it's just different coming from World of Tanks, you know. Oh no, I said I wouldn't relate, but I'm relating. You know, the key setup is a little bit different, and it takes a lot, a lot of getting used to, and I keep hitting a different button, it always minimizes my screen, and it, it becomes a pain. But, you know what, I like this. I like World of Th Tanks, and I love War Thunder Ground Forces. I don't know if I'll base my channel off it, I, I think I'll use it for historical purposes, definitely, and I'll definitely record gameplay throw it in the background, but as far as actually, you know, getting a good, fast pace, you know, exciting gameplay to show everybody how I get 10 kills, I don't know if it'll ever happen, that's, I just don't know, but thanks for watching guys, I love it, I love the graphics, I love, I love pretty much everything about this, the only thing you need to fix is the physics of the tanks, and maybe, uh, you know, find an easier way to help us customize our, our aiming and control of the tanks, because it is a little bit difficult, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys are enjoying War Thunder Ground Force as much as I am. I'm so glad it's not a closed beta anymore. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the battlefield. Play hard, work hard, play hard, we work hard, play hard, keep partying like it's your job. Work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard, we work hard, play hard, keep partying like it's your job. Ew.